the central bank, meaning the Fed, the banks, and the bank regulators have all known for at least the past year that hundreds of banks in the US are insolvent. But the situation we've got now is so much worse than even fractional reserve. They took your deposits and they bought long dated treasuries and other long dated government bonds in 2021, essentially on the guidance of the federal government and or especially the Fed really, that they were gonna keep interest rates low for a long time. And then the Fed raised rates in 2022 in this sort of surprise, super high hike, crushed the portfolios of every single entity that had trusted them and stuck the banks with this giant surprise of this massive devaluation of bonds. And you can see, and I've found all these links where the bankers are basically panicking about this over 2022. They basically come up with an accounting trick. They book it as it having not depreciated. Oh, it's still worth what we paid for it. Whew. We're good, right? And this time bomb just grew larger and larger and larger and larger across the entire industry with everybody obviously knowing about it. And again, whether they were lying to themselves or they're lying to others, what they didn't do is they didn't notify you, the depositor, that the money was gone for not just SVB, but for like millions of depositors across the country and every bank that has US treasuries and long dated government bonds. If you have one bank failure, that's a bank's problem. If you have hundreds of bank failures, that's a central bank's problem. Backing up for a second, what is the proposed action that people should take? Get your coins, get whatever you can into crypto, okay? I recommend Bitcoin at this point. It is gonna be the lifeboat for a number of different reasons. In a year or two years or whenever this crisis is over, but in this crisis, there'll be three kinds of zones. Fiat only zones, where like crypto is banned or seized and only the government can have it because it's used to back the currency. Bitcoin only zones, like maximalist zones, and then crypto free zones where you can use whatever cryptocurrency you want, okay? And one of the reasons is a lot of fiat banks are about to die. They all trusted the Fed at the same time, the centralization at the Fed, buying the same asset at the same time, getting it devalued by the same vendor, namely the Fed, in the same way, then all going bust at once. That's basically what's happening.